Alright, so in this video, we're going to be talking about ratio of integers. Now, this is something that I decided to include at the end because it's kind of something that's all on its own, okay? It's, it's not really, you know, proving an infinite series is convergent or divergent or anything like that. This is just focused on converting a repeating decimal into a fraction, also known as a ratio of integers, okay? It's a ratio, that's what a fraction is, and it's of integers, right? These are integers. So let's get started here. So we can write this number out, okay, as 2.3 plus 17 over 10 to the third power. Okay, this is essentially 2.317. Okay, if you do that, 17 over 10. That's the same thing, or the 17 over 10 to the third power is the same thing as 0 0.017. Okay, so you add that to 2.3 and you get 2.317. Now, this is a repeating decimal, okay? So, this 17 over 10 thirds, well, we're repeating this, okay? So, the next little snippet, okay, is going to be 17 over 10 to the fifth, okay? So now what we have is 2.31717, okay? This is 17 over 10 to the fifth, okay? Let's go another one, 17 over 10 to the seventh. Add another one seven, okay? This piece right here is 17 over 10 to the seventh, all right? So, and, and that just goes on and on and on. Okay, so the interesting thing is now what have we created here? Okay, because this, this goes on and on. Well, this is an infinite geometric series, okay? It may be hard to see at first, but watch what happens. This, by the way, this 2.3 is not included in what we're talking about. You could rewrite this as 2.3 plus the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of, well, what's our first term, right? Remember, we're, we're trying to have the form a times r to the n minus 1. Our first term, well, that's 17 over 10 thirds. And what are we multiplying by each time? Well, to get from here to here, we multiply by 1 over 10 squared. Okay, and that's to the n minus 1 power, right? Cool. So, we can actually just find the sum of this, okay? We can find the sum because this is convergent, okay? This is convergent. This number is very small. It's between negative one and one, okay? So this is something that we can easily do. So how do we find the sum? Well, we have to use a over one minus r, okay? What's our a? Well, we already said that that's 17 over 10 to the third power. And then we have 1 minus our r, our common ratio, that's 1 over 10 squared. Okay? And if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you do this out, you get 17 over 10 thirds. And then, well, doing just this part out, I guess, you get 99 over 10 squared. Okay? This is essentially just 100 over 100 minus 1 over 100, which is 99 over 100, okay? So from there, if you want to just flip this, I guess I'll show you each step. You end up with a 17 over 10 cubed times a 10 squared over 99. This squared, this 10 squared is going to cancel out with this 10 cubed, and you're just going to be left with a 10 on the bottom here. So this becomes a 17 over 990 okay and that that 17 over 990 is not your whole fraction okay because you still have this 2.3 out there that you got to worry about okay all we found all we have just found is this piece right here all right and we need to find now what this 2.3 is going to be as a fraction, and that's not overly difficult, okay? 
So we can write this 2.3 as 23 over 10. And we can add our 17 over 990 to it. And saving you guys all the finding common denominators and you know adding through and all that stuff, we just end up with 1147 over 495. Okay, so we were able to express this repeating decimal as a ratio of integers, right? Just as a as a fraction. All right, and that's really all this is. Okay, it's just setting this up as a infinite geometric series, all right, we, we set the, the repeating decimal as an infinite geometric series, we put it into that a times r to the n minus one form, and then we just found the sum, okay, and we added it to our 2.3 because that was not part of our infinite geometric series, right, the infinite geometric series is on the part that's repeating, 2.3 is not repeating, okay, and we got our ratio of integers okay so that's going to do it for this video so if this video helped you make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left you can also view the playlist for sequences and series and the next video in the series lastly if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me i have my patreon linked in the description down below along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out see you soon